Hey everybody, welcome back to the back of my truck. Um, this week, last weekend, uh, Mahogan and I went to Dallas to um, find our new friend Piper. Um, and on the way back, we stopped a little south of Dallas to um, hang out with Mahogan's mom um, to, to introduce her to her new um, granddaughter, Piper. So, um, next door there was a pile of oak holy cow this thing is oh sorry piper this is a it's probably 40 pound chunk of crotch right here and so um uh mogan's mom was like there's a bunch of oak right there so i was like yeah okay and i saw this piece was like there's no way i'm getting the truck by myself and so there's another crotch over there in the truck right there and so um, I also um, scrap aluminum cans and stuff like that. That's what that is. Anyways, so um, when we just before we were gonna leave, Aaron next door um, was out there kind of trying to figure out the wood and this and that. So I pulled the truck up and said, "Hey man, um, can, I, can I get some of that wood?" And he's like, "Man, take all you want." Well, I just wanted this big crotch and that crotch over there. So um, thanks, Aaron. Um, but this crotch right here, come check it out. This crotch, I could tell it has some figuring in here, coming down in between these two branches, and there's got to be some figuring in there. So, but to make this uh, this bowl, it's going to be a huge bowl, 13 inches um, thick at this part. So, I'm thinking, man, I really want to break off a big chunk at, you know, 15 inches at seven and a half right here. But there's still gonna be, I just don't know. So I'm gonna start at seven and a half right here and uh, see what I can get. And I, I was gonna make one of those uh, fancy dancy uh, acrylic things at work, you know, with the uh, holes and you can just put your, but I forgot. You get busy at work and stop and instead of playing around. So I'm just gonna put this screw right there, like that. Back it out a little bit. And then I'm gonna get this right here. I'm gonna wrap this around here like this See, this is one of those Homemade things, right? So then I'm gonna measure here From the, the, um, the middle of that screw to here to seven and a half inches I'm gonna take my handy-dandy carpenter's pencil here at Seven and a half and we'll see how this works so Put that around like that Twist it like this and really just get that pencil on there like that just in case you don't have one of those things like I don't and we're just gonna kind of mark it up a little bit so when I put this chainsaw on here I can see oh I can see where I need to cut this into a semicircle so it doesn't beat me up so much because it's gonna be a lot of ingrain and it's a big big chunk of wood so I'm gonna try this out oh you see that's so easy I'm gonna go like this Oh, thanks, Mahogan. Look, everybody, fellas out there, if you don't if you don't have a, a, a woman in your life that'll help you do your projects like this, don't drill my finger. I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna um, just knock that knot down right there a little bit. Let me use your fingers and leverage. Yeah. Let go a little bit. Let's see. Okay, there it is, right there. Okay, let's see. Get that wire underneath my arm. Get that wire underneath my arm and take it to the barn. I'll tell you a story or two, but don't take that wire to the barn. All right, got this right here, right? Mm-hmm. Got this all like that. Okay, so we have about, let's see, roughly I can see, it's about right there. And that's gonna be- You're pitching me. That's a 15 inch bowl right there. I don't know who you are. But that's going to be an awesome bowl if I can pull this off. And I'm going to try to pull it off. Your medic alert bracelet didn't come in the mail, though. So. No, not yet. So I'm going to keep going until they send me that bracelet. And then, and then I'm going to start thinking about slowing down. Todd said he is not going to talk. So I'm going to talk. 
This is going to be called How Todd Gets a Hernia Today. Ready? I'm ready. I'm videotaping. Oh. oh. I did it. All right, here we go. Would you like me to kick that? Oh. Here, let's lift it up. Lift it up. Okay. There it is. Okay, got is it. Is that good enough? Perfect. Does it have gas? Yes, dear. Cody, we're not tearing up your birdhouse. I can hear you. I was talking to somebody. say something yeah chainsaws are fascinating they're like that thing that cuts roast beef only much more aggressive yeah don't do it at your house like I do it watch this <laughs> Sweat. Sweating. yeah be careful don't do what I do um, I'm not an advocate of safety I apologize I should be but the bowl blank right there. Whee! I got it done. Okay. Well, I'm gonna um, put this on the lathe and turn it. Cut some roast beef, y'all. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn this log tomorrow, but just you hear those rattlesnakes trying to get me? We're in the, the, the deep heart of Texas. Um anyways, uh I put some some emerald glue on that I, I'm gonna turn it tomorrow I believe but if I don't get a chance to I just want to make sure that it, it's kind of sealed up while I'm turning getting ready to turn it but it should be good it's gonna be good here's the log and here's the back side of the log this is gonna be the opening of the bowl air holy skimolians <clears throat> Okay, whoa, hey, hey, whoa. All right, there you are. All right, that's how big that log is. It's pretty big. Um, so, I'm gonna put the faceplate here. Um, these are the screws I usually use to um, put, uh, you know, use the faceplate with. Um, and so, I don't know that, I don't think that's gonna work. This right here is a, it's basically an inch on your finger. That right there is an inch. Let's, let's, let's see, let's test that. All right, let's see here. We got that. Oh, it's an inch and a quarter. So, on me. So, that from there to there is an inch. It's an inch. So, I, I kind of felt a little, eh, in this big chunk. So, I got these uh, self-tappers. The self-tapper part doesn't matter. It's just the threads and the length of the screw. The drywall screws are made out of hardened steel. And therefore, going through metal studs and you know wood studs and stuff like that you gotta love you gotta love this screw of all sorts of these screws but 
in wood turning they say that these will shear off because they're, they're so hard and brittle these are just mild steel is what it is and so they'll just bend you know they break off too but less chance of you losing um, your project or you know hurting yourself with these so don't use those um, so that's what I'm gonna put on here close nowhere close let me tell you but it's getting round okay well I've had enough uh, for tonight uh, it's getting pretty round uh, it is definitely wet it's not like like sopping wet it's cold to the touch and when you're getting awesome shavings like this man that's some that these are damp well look at this thing right here that's an awesome shaving right there. So, it's definitely wet. So, before I um, leave it for the night, I'm gonna uh, put some almond glue on it. Man, what's the name of this glue? Oh yeah. Here we go. Oh, I don't. I have a paintbrush somewhere, but I I'm not gonna look for it. I'm just gonna get glue on my hand like this. Remember when you were a kid and you uh, put glue on your hand and you peeled it off? and you put another coat on and you peel it off in school. That's why they really wanted you to get glue when you were a kid to go to school. So you can peel it off. I'm just playing. Well, I really did do that though. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, clean up the bottom side and then start shaping it up that way. This is the basic shape that I got right here. Kind of happy with it. I thought it was gonna be bigger, but it's all right. Um, I'm gonna pull this off the uh, pull this off the face plate, and I'm gonna hollow out the inside with a, a tenon inside so I can grab it again later. Okay, I'm gonna take this uh, tail stock off. I can't get in there. I need to get at least almost halfway down there, I think. But before I do go further in there, I'm going to uh, shape this tenon up. Cause I might, it might fall off the lathe. I might need this tenon now instead of later. Okay. 
that thumbs and tools fine. Okay, let's see what happened. Oh, I got a little, whoo, it's a huge. Can you see it? Ha-cha-cha chunk, can you see that? Woo! let me fix it. It didn't break the mortise, so that's good. I think I'm gonna go to carbide from here on out. So, see what we can do with that. Dang it. Okay, well, there's the mortise. It, it came out right here, but I have to come back later and, and fix it anyway when it dries out. It's just from here, from here to here is gonna be solid wood. And I just don't know if that's gonna work out with the bag, inside the bag with the shavings. You know, you're supposed to, you know, cut it thick and then, um, Put it in the bag and then it dries out in three months i don't know if this chunk right here is going to dry out in three months i guess we could try it and, and if it doesn't then put it back in there for three months i just don't know it's a lot of work already for them the big old chunk of wood to not know what's going to happen so i think maybe uh it's too far deep in there i can't it's time to start cutting out that that bottom out but when you do that, you know, then you have this warpy mortise down here, and it's hard to, um, you, how do you do it? Especially with the bowl this deep and a chuck that, you know, so I have to keep it this way. Just don't know. I just don't know. Okay, I decided to um, shear scrape the Elmer's glue off the outside of the bowl so it wouldn't be sealed on the outside and um, it could maybe dry evenly throughout the piece of wood and um, all that good stuff. So, hopefully it works. And I don't know where I saw it, but I did see it on YouTube that somebody was doing this um, same thing where you take a, uh, you know, a wet log and and turn it down thick and then you put it back on the lathe later but what they said was and I, I wish I could remember who it was because I'd give them some credit but I don't remember but they said take a hose clamp and put it around your tenon so that it keeps it fairly round so when you come back to it it stays like that and I thought that was a really good idea so I had this extra large for some reason I don't know why I had it laying around the shop it was in my toolbox over there. I was like, do I have any hose clamps? I was like, oh, perfect. This one's perfect. So I'm going to put this on there fairly tight. And hopefully it keeps it round. This is going to be a good experiment. This is going to be one of those uh, times where you're like, man, I need to push that little bell next to subscribe on Epop's channel because i got to see what this bowl does next. It's a crazy experiment. And a, ban a, a hose clamp has now been introduced to the wood turning situation. This is for automotive uh stuff so let's see what it does uh and the other thing with my shavings being too wet probably is gonna um you know um uh promote mold on the thing this thing's full of mold and um so uh so we'll see i'll, I'll probably check it in about a month and see how it's looking we'll see i don't know that right there, whoo, this is going to be exciting in about three months. And three months from now, it'll be December. And you're going to laugh about the bag that I'm going to put it in. Okay, well, my shavings were a little too wet, so I'm getting some of this stuff off the floor and mixing it up to kind of uh, soak up some of that water in there. Luckily, I have a bunch of uh, wood chips on the floor. There's another reason why you don't clean up all your wood chips every time, because you might need them. That was my uh, Highlander's face. I think that was your John Lydon face. <laughs> oh, dang. Punk rock. 
Oh, Rob, I think this is good now, okay? So, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop, over, hop over the lathe here real quick. I told him, Mahogan, that by the time this, this bowl comes out, it's gonna be Christmas. Yeah, probably. What do you know about that? So, I'm gonna put some, uh, where's the, uh, oh, where's the, I think I cut your head off a little bit. Yeah, you always do, but it's okay. I'm not the only one. So put this here like this. We'll put some uh, shavings in here. In this bag here. It's good enough. It's, good enough. it's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. Mm -hmm. and Go. It's 120 degrees. 103 degrees. The sweat's rolling down my knees. Oh. Wow. Okay. Oh, I'll be so glad when it's Christmas. It'll be cooler. It'll be cool. No, last year we wore shorts on Christmas. Yeah. So, Bleh. I love it. Shorts and flip flops. You guys saw my last videos, right? All the way to Christmas. Epop. We gotta move somewhere cooler. Alright, down the street is pretty cool. No. Okay, look. This is it. I'm gonna take this like this. Fold it over. We have some packing tape, Logan. Maybe some duct tape. Where's that duct tape? At my fingertips? Huh? At my fingertips? Okay, push that button. Okay, so I got the tape. Can you come in closer so we can see that? Okay, I'm gonna tape this right here. It's as expensive tape for this, but for now it's gonna have to be. It's probably gonna last until December. Don't do this at home with your expensive tape, kids. Do this at home with your inexpensive tape. Duct tape. Couldn't find it. I found look. scotch tape. Scotch tape is not good right now. Okay. Take this right here. Put this here like that. Put that there. December something. Push that. Um, when you push the subscribe button, or you can go to my channel, back to your set, for my, beginning of my channel, and then look right next to the subscribe button. There's a bell. It looks like it's ringing. Push that ringing part. Every time I post a new video, you'll it'll say, "Hey, Epop just posted a new video." Let me tell you why. This is going to come out in December. Can I be corny for a second? No, one second. I'm still telling you something. This is going to come out in December, right? Hopefully, it comes out good. The other thing is, I'm trying to figure out how to give this bowl blank away to you or someone else that's watching this channel religiously. Um, I appreciate all my subscribers. I really um, appreciate you guys. Uh, I, I, I appreciate you guys so much. So I came up with this bowl blank. It is red oak and uh, mahogany. There's three strips of um, sepal mahogany in it. Um, but I want to send this to somebody. I looked up on YouTube how to give something away on your YouTube channel. And I, it looks like a bunch of legal jargon. I just want to say, hey, thank you. But there, I have to do some more research before I just get in trouble with YouTube and or the federal government there's a lawyer talking to you on YouTube or something something like that so anyways I want to do that too push that bell and I'm gonna figure that out and, and send this out to somebody someone's gonna win this bowl it's it's uh, the bowl is eight uh, seven and three quarters with the little chunks out like that so it's perfect for a smaller lathe. it's perfect for a big lathe. I, I got you guys it's in my perfect for a Christmas present it's perfect for a Christmas present but it's also perfect for um, a doorstop Man, but don't, whew, man, keep that door open. See how heavy it oh. is? Okay, well, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. And um, um, just remember, push that subscribe button. And uh, if you didn't see the videos before this one, there's two of them where my chuck broke on me and I had to repair them. So check those out too. And you want them to ring the bell? Ring the bell. Ring my bell. And this video is coming out when? Uh, this next video is coming out in December sometime mid-December. So can I be corny? Merry Christmas time. Go ahead and be corny, Mogan. It's gonna come out around Christmas 
And every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. An angel gets a bowl. Yeah, or a bowl blank. Man, cool. Check it out. Push that button. Have a good time. We'll see you later.